afternoon guys welcome back to another video with high society kind of corso so i'm actually out here with miss pregnant mama storm look at her she's got an absolutely huge huge mama um but today's kind of an exciting day we are going to do a puppy count x-ray on her today if you're new to this channel my name is Raisa. don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell but anyways, I finally got my hair done, guys. Like, oh my gosh. It had been such a long time. And honestly, I was just like really lazy to take down the last set of extensions. But I did go back completely black. And the minute I did it, I kind of like regretted it. I miss, I really miss the red. I think I'm just meant to be redhead, you know, fiery. Like, anyways, it'll, it'll probably be back shortly. That's kind of my fall go-to color. Take her for her puppy count today. So basically what's going to happen is we take her there. It really doesn't take too long probably 30 minutes with us waiting our vet is like really fast and like super quick about the stuff like that but making us wait so we'll take her in they'll x-ray and then the vet will give us her opinion on how many puppies she thinks that are in there the sun is so bright um now a lot of times too like i said before on the ultrasound the puppies are really tricky like they do hide in there so whenever they did do the ultrasound on her they saw four and so our vet basically said it's four plus because normally there's more than what you can see on the ultrasound and even with the x-ray sometimes it's really hard to count because what they do is they count spines um according to the picture that they've taken so sometimes they'll tell you that there's eight and you end up with like more you know so we'll see i'm really excited i'm excited for you guys to be a part of this process and i'm super excited about this litter <laughs> i think storm's over being pregnant look at her big belly but basically a little bit about this litter so storm here her real name as we say her akc paperwork name is galatea d typhon so this litter is between galatea d typhon aka miss storm and Lancelot Corso de Montanu, I believe is how you say that. Um, he is an AKC champion as well as he has his CGC title as well. So this is a title litter. Um, Storm's father, like I said in previous videos, absolutely killing it in the show ring. So this is going to be a really special litter, guys. I mean, I think they're going to be really, really beautiful pups. And depending on today, we will see if we're going to be opening up any more deposit spots. Once we took the ultrasound, those on our notifications list did get privy to that um, those spots first. And we only took a few deposits just because the count that they saw on the ultrasound was pretty low. But as of today, if we do see more, we will be opening up those slots again. So I'm telling you, you do not want to miss out on this litter. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. I have really, really high hopes for this. Um, just their matchup and you can see in our previous video i think it's storm goes to meet her prospective boyfriend um how lance really is well lancelot is and how he looks and i think that's going to be a really good like color explosion of puppies here too because they both provide quite a bit of color i do think it's going to be a really good blend between storms like kind of stout and stockiness and his tall and he has really good bone as well too he's taller than she is and it's really going to cement in that really good head um, expression that they both have but poor storm she looks so uncomfortable i know she's ready to drop these puppies we have been busy busy here just getting ready for them and putting everything together i still have to order some of the last minute supplies just so we're all ready to go i went ahead and cleaned out one of our rooms just to make that like a puppy room and a room for the dogs like oh excuse her she's gone potty but poor thing when she goes to pee like her tatas be swinging on the ground she can't even bend down anymore and stripes decided to have fun with our lawn chair today so there's that completely destroyed probably and it's so muddy maybe messing around with stuff out here storm today is like the first time in quite a while that i've actually sat and done my makeup i have a wedding coming out my cousin's getting married on literally christmas day which is going to be such a crazy day for us because we're gonna have puppies um it's christmas day so we do you know all of our little traditions with my in-laws my parents actually don't celebrate christmas so we don't have like a dual day or anything but it is my cousin's wedding it's so hard finding somebody who's a makeup artist that's going to be available on christmas day like i've like literally looked and i'm just really picky too so i was like you know at least once a week up until the wedding i need to kind of practice putting my makeup on i know it looks, it's looking kind of crazy today because, I mean, it's been a while. I used to be the kind of person that I used to wear my makeup, like, every day, like, before I went out. You know, but now, after having, you know, Jude and toddlers and dogs and stuff, I kind of just kind of gave it up for a bit. Yeah, I'd just rather spend the time with these guys and my son. Yeah, I'd rather spend the time with you. 
Yes, mama. Hi, baby girl. Are you excited to see how many puppies you have? You are? Are you excited? Look at that tail. You're excited, aren't you? If you are interested in this litter, um, go ahead and DM us on Instagram. That's really where we're, where we do most of everything. And um, we do have an email address. It's high society at, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the email address. It's high society kind of corso at gmail.com. So you can email us there too. But really, Instagram is probably going to be your best bet to get like really quick responses and things like that. Hi, mama. Hi. There is a $500 non refundable deposit, but that is movable to another litter if you choose to do so. Hi, baby. But basically, just DM us and we'll kind of get into the nitty gritty details with you if you are interested in her litter which everybody should be interested in your litter because it's going to be so cute and good strong puppies oh my gosh lichen so so far i'm thinking to have the whole well being set up in here um this used to be our guest room actually but because like honestly we don't get guests that often here mama come inside we don't get guests that often, and if anybody really does sleep over here, it's my brother-in-law for the most part. So I switched rooms with my study in this room, just because my study, like the previous study anyway, it had like a really weird like cut-off wall. And so it just made it really difficult to place things. So I think I'm just going to have it like over here in this area. And then we have the shop back ready to go. I have my light so I can see the puppies really well. And like, yes, I know, I'm kind of a bit of a crazy prepper, just a little bit. A little bit of like my overstock stuff um, in here as well, and then like my desk. I don't know if I'm going to be putting like either the recliner in here or like a little mattress type thing, just so that we can stay with her while she's whelping and it'll be more comfortable for us because honestly like this chair sucks and that one's like, you can't really take a nap in there, like be comfortable. In there and if the labor is really long then we're going to kind of have to switch off on watching her and kind of assisting storm what's wrong you don't like this room i know it's kind of echoing here right now but once everything's all set up storm i think you'll like it i think you'll like it okay you're going out i started putting together her whelping box my husband still has not put up the halloween my house is just a mess y'all it's a mess it's an absolute fiasco going on here. It's a shit show. But it's okay. We're getting it together piece by piece. But I packed on Halloween stuff here so that he can go ahead and put it up. Yes, I already did decorate for Christmas. I just have like two mini trees and then the outside's kind of fun. I just really wanted to get a head start on kind of putting everything together. Because with the puppies, things are going to be kind of crazy. But I still want to make sure that my son like has those good little Christmas memories too. You know, so this is my favorite tree. It's my Hoovel Grinch tree. While she's been pregnant, we actually did kind of switch up her food. She's still on the Victor High Pro Kibble, but she just kind of started to be like more picky about what she was eating. And so she really wasn't like eating too much of it. And she like, she really, she's the kind of dog that she doesn't eat much anyway. She's like three, four cups and then she's done for the day. But uh, I started buying these, what are those cans? These wellness, wellness, uh, natural food, lamb and sweet potato. And she absolutely, like, I couldn't get her to stop eating the food once I did this. So with this, I've been able to get her to eat more. I'll put, like, five, six cups, and then I'll put, like, half a can of this as well. So Storm actually is my baby that does have, like, some allergies. Like, she's actually allergic to chicken. So I wanted to make sure it was something really mild for her as well. Just with being pregnant. Like, I know when I was pregnant, too, you have a lot of, like, but more food sensitivities than you would, you know, when you're not. So lamb, actually, if your dog does have a lot of allergies, lamb is the least, like, irritant, irritating one for them. I know my friend has a Frenchie, beautiful, beautiful Frenchie. I've been wanting one for so long. His name is Odin, and Odin has, like, horrible, horrible food allergies and literally has to go and get allergy shots, you know, every couple of months, I believe. And lamb is literally the only thing that does not, like, trigger him, so she, like, makes his food. So I was like, I tried the lamb with the storm and like, she's been doing really good on it. Like really, really well on it. She likes it. She's getting her to eat more. And I mean, look, look at her stomach. Such a cute girl. It's kind of funny though, because storm doesn't realize how big she's gotten. So she keeps trying to go like in the past, she would go through this little gap right here to get to her crate. Normally it's a little bit bigger than that. Like that I was vacuuming earlier, but she keeps getting stuck here. And she's like looking at me like, why am I not fitting? 
what's going on, Mom? But she doesn't realize that she's gotten so big. Yeah, you don't fit there anymore, do you? You don't fit there anymore, do you? It's also kind of interesting to see the other dogs' reactions to her being pregnant. Like, I think they just know. Like, obviously they can sense it because if I were to let, like, Stripes and Storm out together, they would both be just, like, going nuts, like, playing and things like that. But they know kind of just to leave her alone. Like, even Lycan got out um, when I had her in the back earlier. And he just kind of looked at her and they sniffed her and they kind of just leave her alone let her let her rest. But I know she's kind of over being pregnant because she literally will walk from her crate to outside and literally just be done, like like how she is right now. She was outside for like not even 10 minutes earlier and she's just like finished, she's super tired and she's kind of ready, ready to pop them out and be done with it, I think. I first have to go pick up my son from my mom's house. He's over there just kind of spinning. He likes to go over there for a couple hours, so I'm gonna go pick him up and then I'll have to come back, get Storm, and then take her to the vet for the puppy count. Actually kind of funny how things kind of come like a full circle, so to speak, or like how things just kind of fall into place. So Lancelot was actually the first like Corso that I actually saw, like adult Corso, like up close, whenever we went to go pick up Storm when we were purchasing Storm. And, like Lancelot was out there in the front and I think we did see her father and her mom. They were in the back and uh, he was like super imposing. I mean, that like effect kind of wears off now when you have a course of yourself, you see kind of what a goofball they are and like how they're so lovable and you, you just don't see your own dogs like in that way anymore. But like walking up and like seeing him, it was like, oh my God, like these are huge ass dogs, you know? And I we just instantly fell in love even more. So I think it's just kind of funny how like it played out, how we actually ended up using him for Storm Stud. And it also kind of worked out too because I did not want to like ship any type of sample in after having now like two failed attempts with Stripes. You know, like if you'll follow us on Instagram, a lot of our updates are on there as well. Stripes is actually not pregnant again. And it's just been a really super frustrating and expensive situation. Um, which we're kind of trying to get figured out like I don't know Like via the contract that we have with her. We do have to breed her with the male From their kennel for her first breeding. This is now the third. So that's been kind of a tricky Situation now going into it again. But anyways, um I don't know if we're gonna drive up there next time or my husband will have to drive up there because our girls are on the same Heat cycle pattern it'd be just kind of impossible for us and what baby do to go up there and both of us go and do it so he may have to go up there next time her heat comes around we're kind of just figuring that out one step at a time um it's just frustrating you know so i don't really like i don't trust it quite frankly so at storm i really wanted to go with somebody local uh the breeder is about an hour and a half from us but to me that's worth the drive like he has great dogs great program um He's also something that invests like time into training the dogs. And like for us here, that's like really something that's important. You go over there, Lance is completely trained, completely obedient, trained, off leash trained, whatever, you know, and you can tell that he really just takes the time with his dogs to get them to that level. And that's something that's important to us. So I felt like, you know, everything kind of aligned and the way that they are, they complement each other as well. We are about to go into the vet now. I actually parked over here. So that way the grass was a lot higher. So she kind of had to step out. Yeah, she kind of has a hard time getting in and out of the car now. So she left us with some of her hair, so if oh, she's a God. little <laughs> if she's a little lighter on the way home, that's why. So she is full of puppies. Oh, gosh. My <laughs> goodness gracious. Really? So the the way we look at puppies, so I don't know if you guys have looked it's at the spines, before. right? You yeah. The spines. So this is her spine, and we look in the abdomen for these round things are the skulls, skulls. and then the spines are kind of the zippers. The, she was so big and full of puppies that the x-ray machine almost doesn't go up high enough to get through everything. Oh so gosh. what I kind of do is, is once I do this, I kind of trace out the puppies I see. So there's a skull right up there here with the spine there. there. One. So one there, two down here. Three going up this way, four and five, six kind of goes that way, seven goes around, eight goes up there. So from here forward, oh there's my eight. Gosh, the there's one, nine down here, ten and eleven, twelve kind of sitting right in the middle, thirteen going up that way, and fourteen going down that way. So there's fourteen oh. that I can oh see. Oh my gosh. 
Usually what How I does tell she get people so is because we're taking a 3D view and making it into 2D, yeah. that's give or take a puppy or two. Okay. So I would tell you guys 14, anywhere from 13 to 16. So as you saw, the official puppy count is in no way did I ever, ever, ever expect that number for her to have this many puppies. Pray for me, y'all. It's going to be a wild ride, but I'm super excited for this litter. I hope you guys are too. So right now we are going to be opening more advanced deposits. Um, basically how that's going to work is we're going to take a set number of deposits again. Now that we know that the number is significantly bigger than what we thought it was before. So once the puppies are actually here, we'll have a better, obviously we'll know male, female, um, what we have. And I'll go ahead and split those deposits up between who's running male and who's running female. And then from that point, obviously we may even have more than the 14 that he said, like he said, expect between 13 to 16 um so we'll keep you guys updated in every step of this process anyways y'all have a great night bye guys hope to see you on another video